All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel, Baseball Talk with Nick Morgan. So today I'm taking you through my Major League Baseball hat collection. So over the years, I've been collecting a couple of hats and the goal is to one point have one different hat from every Major League Baseball team. If you guys have been around the channel for a little while, you know I try to wear different hats in every video, but sometimes I just can't because I only have so many hats. But you guys have talked about this before. You guys have asked to see this. So without further ado, here is my Major League Baseball hat collection. Now before we hop into it, I do have one other memorabilia video on the channel that has my baseball bat collection. So if you guys want to go ahead and check that out, the link will be down below in the description. Let's get into it. There is no particular order in how I'm going to be showing you guys these hats today. I'm going to just start off with the New York Mets and the New York Yankees. So here is my Yankees hat. I got this a couple years ago. It has the Derek Jeter um, captain logo here, which I think is really cool. It's a new era hat. And you guys will see the trend. Most of my hats are flat brims. I do love the flat brims. But you got to go with the classics sometimes. So also I have a little bit of both hats. I believe I have over 20 Major League Baseball hats. And then I also have this Major League Baseball Network hat that I am wearing right now in the video. And then here is my Mets hat. It's got the Mets logo, the orange beanie at the top, and then the Mets uh, like circular logo there. So really cool. Again, new era and another flap room. So here we go. I also have a Houston Astros hat with the AL logo on it and the new era sign with the adjustable snapback here, and it is a 950. Most of my hats are 950 in my collection. Again, I do have some curved brims though. Here, you guys actually saw this in a vlog not too long ago, if you checked out my Orioles vlog, but this is my Baltimore Orioles hat. There you go, and then all the way around. Again, the adjustable flat brim. I use these hats in all my videos if you guys aren't aware. I did mention that a little bit at the beginning. And I bring like one or two hats to every major league baseball game I go to. Usually uh, the home team and the away team I bring hats for and I wear throughout the course of the game. Here's my Kansas City Royals hat, the logo, new era. And you guys probably will see, I do keep most of my stickers on my hats. I don't know why. Um, I just think it's something cool that I do and I've kind of started since my first couple of hats. So yeah, the 950 sticker here and then the baseball sticker as well for the authenticity here's my red hat you got the reds uh logo uh for the mascot and new era so at the very end of the video i will be doing like the count of how many total hats i have for major league baseball and all that good stuff and i'm going to be showing you how i store all my hats here we go this is an angels hat i actually got this when i went to an angels game it was a giveaway this one's sponsored by saint joseph hogan health that was uh, the giveaway that night when I went, unfortunately, that was a couple years ago, so I was not able to get it on vlog because I didn't have a YouTube channel at that point. But here we go. This is a team you might see in the World Series this year. Los Angeles Dodgers. Again, that sticker. The National League logo. The new era. It is a flat brim. The adjustable hat. And San Diego Padres. So I love the different like colors and stuff that I have with all of these. It says Padres in the back here orange beanie i have some throwbacks which we're going to see in a little bit um and then some like alternative hats so that's really cool as well here we got the pirates the national league logo there you go uh actually which is really cool here is that you have the pittsburgh underneath the brim so as you're wearing it you put it on here you actually have the pittsburgh underneath so i like that you can see that that's really cool the only hat in my collection that actually has that little feature to it and here is my boston red sox hat um, yes, I do display this with the rest of them, even though I'm completely against the Boston Red Sox, because I'm a Yankees fan, of course. It is a 47, I guess that's the brand of it, and it's a one-size-fits-all. It doesn't have the adjustable, like, snapback, but it does have, like, the Velcro here. And this is one of the only hats I have that are like this in my collection. So on to the next bunch of hats. I have my Milwaukee Brewers. This is a 940 hat so that's from different company slightly different company on the back here it is adjustable velcro just like the red sox hat and it has the little brewers logo and stuff there again i have the stickers on the brim same thing here with the mariners another 940 hat i actually like these as well the round brims the classic brims you have to appreciate as well and uh, the 940 logo all inside the hat and this is cool because it's like the alternative I don't know what jersey this hat belongs to, if it's like a BP or a Way or whatever it is, or if it's like a throwback, but I really like this hat as well. I don't really have a favorite hat in my collection. I guess you could say the New York Yankees one because they are my favorite team. I'm not really sure. This one is really nice though. How about this? A Florida Marlins hat. This is a 5950. This is 
the uh, logo on the back, the Major League Baseball logo. This one I do like. It's like the teal color. This is definitely a throwback hat, a retro hat. Uh, I think it's super loud. So when it was the Florida Marlins, not the Miami Marlins. That was a couple years ago. That's actually one of my newer hats in my collection. Though. So that's really cool. Got the Chicago Cubs hat with my Cubs logo. New ERA um, logo there as well. And it is a snapback, adjustable. Again, 950 on the inside of the hats here. You have a White Sox hat now. It's a 47 captain snapback. Again, I'm assuming that is the uh, brand. I have my baseball sticker. I actually still have the cardboard in it um, from how the hats come. And here is the White Sox uh, logo. What logo is that? I don't really know. I think it's like a flashback logo. And it's just kind of like an alternative logo because usually it is just like the, the socks in uh, black with that white trim. Here is my A's logo or my A's hat with the A's logo and then the alternative logo as well with the elephant. I think that's always really cool. I've always admired that logo. I thought it was really nice. The, the back, the 950, all that good stuff. So we are coming down to the last two flat brims. We have the Colorado Rockies, which is a 950 snapback. You also have the baseball logo and the 950 all throughout the inside of the hat and the Rockies logo there. And then finally, for the new ERA or the new era hats, you have the Cleveland Indians, the tribe. So there you go, you got the C there. That's the back, the red beanie at the top as well. 950. The last three hats you are gonna see in my Major League Baseball collection are all signed, which is really cool. They're all the curved brim, which I really like. Three good teams and a couple good autographs on here as well. I'm gonna take you in order of how and when I got them signed. So this is really cool. The first player I ever met when it comes to Major League Baseball is Ben Revere. At the time he was on the Philadelphia Phillies, he's been with a number of different teams. I believe he is retired now, but that's his autograph. He was number two and an outfielder. I can uh, kind of show you some pictures. I believe if I can find them, they'll be on screen of me and Ben Revere. So that's really cool. Again, Ben Revere autographed Philadelphia Phillies hat. Same thing with this next hat here you have the arizona diamondbacks which is nice i like that snake logo i actually got this right before the game we went to like a walmart i believe or a target close to the stadium and i received three autographs i met three players that day this is baxter the mascot uh this middle one here is actually the first diamondback i met that day that's robbie ray you have aj pollock here i believe and then braden shipley right here with this Autograph, so that's really cool. Three player autographs, one mascot autograph. It's my Arizona Diamondbacks hat, and then the final one I have is actually a Toronto Blue Jays retro hat. I vlogged this game. It was the New York Yankees and Toronto Blue Jays at Yankee Stadium when I got all my autographs. If you guys want to go ahead and check out that video, link is down below in the description. But I have a bunch of autographs here. It is in black sharpie, so it might be a little hard to see. Um, but it's right like at the bottom part of the brim, kind of going all the way around. I met four players that day, so that was super cool. So those are all my Major League Baseball hats, other than this MLB Network hat that I've been wearing throughout the course of the video. It's another 47 brand that I have. It's a one size fits all. You have the adjustable um, fitting here, and then the inside, all you have is just the sticker for authenticity that I keep. And now I'm going to show you guys how I store and kind of show off all of my hats. So this right here is how I store all of my Major League Baseball hats. It's a great display on a wall in my room. So you can see I have all of my hats hung up here with pennants that correspond to their team hanging below them, which is super cool. And they're not in any particular order. Um, I just kind of put them up there however I felt the, the need to and however I wanted. So you can see here are all of my hats. And I tried to keep all my autograph hats together. So that's my Phillies hat, of course, with the Ben Revere autograph. And then above it is my Diamondbacks hat with the autographs, as you saw um, just a couple seconds ago, in order. And then my Blue Jays hat 
is right down the line here. So there you go. And here's a closer look at some of the autographs. I know you probably can't see them all because of the black ink, but they're there. So super cool. That's a wall on my room with all of my Major League Baseball hats. So in total, I have 22 different hats representing different teams, 24 hats altogether. The 23rd is my MLB Network hat, and the 24th is this other Yankees hat that I also have. It is a 950 New Era, the New York uh, kind of spelled out here on the back with the white and the white beanie. So that's really cool. That's my 24th hat in my collection. Now, there are eight teams that I still need to collect, and those are the Tampa Bay Rays, Detroit Tigers, Minnesota Twins, Texas Rangers, Atlanta Braves, Washington Nationals, St. Louis Cardinals, and the San Francisco Giants. So for the most part, I am almost done with my collection. Super excited. I get a couple hats every year. So in the next, like, three, four years, hopefully I will have all of these collected and in one display, which is really awesome. Uh, I get them for different holidays and events, so that is really cool. And that is going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop a like down below, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more memorabilia videos down below, like bobbleheads, baseballs, and all that kind of good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Peace.